Hello, today I'm pleased to welcome back to campus Stephens Murillo, a 2017 graduate of William Patterson which a bachelor, with a bachelor's degree in financial planning. Stephens came to William Patterson after earning his associate's degree in communication and media study at Passaic Community College, one of our great community college partners. His switch from communications to business was a defining moment in his William Patterson career and one we'll talk more about shortly. Like many William Patterson students, Stephens balanced his studies with part-time work, in his case, at Valley Bank. On campus, he became involved with the Financial Planning Club, where he served as the club's marketing director and later as its president. The club taught Stephens many things, including the value of building a strong network and being actively involved in professional organizations. Proof of that came in his senior year, when he helped organize a club event for representatives of the leading investment firm, the Vanguard Group, who spoke about their new financial advisor development program and then interviewed students for the program. Needless to say, Stephens made the cut and five years later is thriving at Vanguard where he recently moved into the role of internal sales consultants. He is part of Vanguard's Women in Sales team where he helps connect women to sales opportunities within the company. Last month, Stephens returned to here to his alma mater to serve as a student advisor at William Patterson's Financial Planning Academy where he was able to mentor current high school students as well as reconnect with former professors. I'm so grateful for his continued involvement with his alma mater, and I'm so pleased that you could be here with me today. Welcome back to campus. Uh, thank you for having me. Right. I'm happy to be back home. Yes, now I know that you probably spent most of your time at 1600, but here we are in the Martini Room on main campus, so it's really a homecoming for you in, in many different ways, right? Correct. I actually began my uh, William Patterson journey in this building before I switched majors. Uh, see, there you go. It really is a homecoming. It is. So, you know, I mentioned your path to William Patterson from Passaic Community College, where you earned your degree, your associate's degree in communication, and then you began majoring here in that field. Right. Um, but what prompted you to switch to financial planning? It's kind of a big jump. It is a big jump. So I was uh, taking my communication courses here during my first semester at William Patterson uh, with a degree in broadcast journalism, and I had one class to fill up, and I chose to fill up that class uh, with the financial well-being course taught by Professor Lawrence Verzani, who's still a professor to this day. And that class was a defining moment in my life and my career. Uh, that class, uh, I was so engaged in that class, I recall one day him canceling the class and me getting very upset that the class got canceled. And I think that was the indicator uh, for me to listen to my intuition and really think about switching majors. And I think uh, with the encouragement and the confidence that Verzani gave me uh, along the, the semester, it gave me the confidence I needed to eventually switch majors and take the risk, really, and um, completely switch from broadcast journalism to financial planning full time. Yeah, you know, I often tell students, both incoming and graduates, that it's that one person, that one professor, that one class that really makes a difference. But I will say we never get complaints about classes being canceled. We always get complaints when they're not. So right. it's, it, it's, it's good to know that you were that committed to that class. So you, I also mentioned that uh, you worked part time uh, in Valley Bank. Right. So um, tell me a little bit about the challenges and the rewards of working part-time while you're going to school, especially given your area of study, which is, is a heavy lift. Right, right. Uh, I guess I'll start with the challenges. Uh, obviously, time management. Uh, I had to manage my time effectively, trying to make it to classes on time, being to work on time. But also, I think one of the biggest challenges was it took away from my time of being involved on campus and getting more involved in extracurricular activities. So I really had to effectively manage my time well, pick my classes well, my shifts well, to be able to accomplish everything that I wanted to accomplish. I think that was the biggest challenge. It took away from the time I really wanted to spend on campus and getting that college experience. Mm -hmm. um, obviously the rewards, financial rewards, allowed me to have a smoother experience financially. Um, but another great reward was uh, just a network that I was able to develop and the interactions I had at the bank. I was really able to brush up my communication skills and uh, uh, I was able to earn, learn awareness of who the small business owners were in my community, 
who were uh, the professionals in my community, and I got to, still to this day, I still keep in contact with some of them. So it was a great relationship builder for me. What's your most enduring memory of William Patterson? Wow, that's a really, really tough question because there were so many enduring memories. So I'm gonna have to answer that question by saying the collective experience altogether because I think about so many different moments and I think it's really the collective experience altogether that stays with me and that's long lasting till this day. So was there someone in particular, either a student, faculty member, or staff who strongly impacted your college or professional career? Another tough one. Um, I would say it's hard to pinpoint, there are a lot of individuals and students and faculty members and security people and cafeteria people that added value and impact to my life, but I would have to say the most impact Professor Lawrence Verzani, mm -hmm. because if it wasn't yeah. for him giving me the encouragement and the confidence and the nudging on the front end and teaching such a phenomenal course, I uh, wouldn't have jumped ship and changed majors and taken the big risk. Mm -hmm. So definitely Professor Verzani. So you're a big believer in the power of personal connections. Absolutely. And I was pleased to hear that while on campus you were able to reconnect with uh, a William Patterson couple who played a very special role in your education. That's right. Uh, per, uh, Patricia Powell and Dennis Carrigan. Uh, I was um, luckily a recipient of the Dennis Carrigan and Patricia Powell Financial Planning Scholarship in 2016. And while I was volunteering my time in the Financial Planning Academy, they were one of the judges for the competition, one of the competitions that we have for the high school students. Uh. So. Five years later, it was great to see them, but more importantly, I think it's great for the, men, uh, for the mentors to see the, uh, the impact of their hard work and their contributions right. five years later um, from student to professional. Yeah. It must have been great for them to feel that, and you know, yeah. I hope to experience that someday too. Well, we hope you do as well. You know, I always say that commencement's my favorite day on campus, but we have a scholarship dinner every year where our donors get to meet their scholarship recipients, and that's, that's high on the list, because I think it is rewarding for both our donors and for our recipients, so um, I'm glad you certainly got a chance to meet them. So, I, you know, I often tell young alumni that they don't need to wait 10 or 20 years to start giving back in meaningful ways, and and you're proof of that, you know, through your recent involvement in our Financial Planning Academy. So first of all, thank you for lending your expertise and your talent and your time. But can you talk a little bit about the importance of mentorship and, and what has been for you both as a mentee and as a mentor? Wow, that's a great question. Um, mentorship is extremely important to me. It's in my DNA. Um, and I think mentorship is extremely important nowadays. I'm gonna substitute the word mentorship for helping others. And I think there's never not a reason to be helping others. Mm -hmm. So it, helping others is in my DNA. It's something that I'm passionate about. And I think helping others just makes the world a better place. I mean, um, having someone who's been down that road that you're trying to go through, invest their time and resources into you, really can give you the confidence. It can really be a game changer into that individual's future. So I think it's extremely important um, that mentorship all around keeps happening and that, um, you know, yeah, I just think it's extremely important in general. Yeah, and I think too, it's just a testimony of giving of your time and talent. And those are two of our most precious, uh, you know, commodities. People often ask me right. if I miss teaching. And I always say that, you know, it's, it's, you just do a different kind of teaching. Now I teach deans how to be vice presidents and vice presidents to be presidents. And right. it is a different way of sort of giving back. So um, you and I resonate on, on that topic. But so now you always know I like to close with the lightning round. I'm the eighth president of William Patterson. So we're going to stick to eight questions. Okay. Some about your time here at William Patterson, some about your life right now. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, good. What would the title of your autobiography be? Ooh from a hole in the wall, crack in the concrete, similar to a rose stemming out of a uh, wow. concrete. Um, beautiful can come from a not so beautiful place. Wow, that's a great title. What was your go-to meal as a student? Uh, definitely a quick check sandwich. Uh, you know, college student, you have to budget those meals. <laughs> your favorite study spot? Woo, um, probably the cafeteria Valley Road by the pond the view. Doesn't, I mean, it doesn't get better. It's than priceless. That, does it? Yeah. 
You're naming a new pet, William or Patterson? Definitely Patterson. Shout out Patterson, New Jersey. <laughs> You're buying a new sweater, black or orange? Black and orange. Oh, wow, okay. What was your toughest class at William Patterson? By far, taxation. Oh, I hated it too. It's tough. What was your favorite pe pre What is your favorite piece of William Patterson branded gear? Ironically, I'm wearing it right now. My uh, William Patterson pin. Nice, nice. What is the single best piece of advice that you could give to today's students, no matter their major? Never let the fire inside of you die. Always keep it lit. That's great, so great. Thanks for playing, and thanks for taking time to come and speak to me today, and of course, thank you for remaining involved in William Patterson and mentoring our students. It really means the world to them, and certainly the world to us, so thank you again for being here. Thank you very oh, much, it was great. a pleasure yes. being here. Great, great. So where did you come from?